Jurassic World Evolution 2 has had another secret of the game now revealed by the fans, and with it, the monorails for Jurassic World are now even more popular in the game, because now we can do this with them. Or maybe you don't want to do this, but you want to have it go straight through the enclosure, like this. Or maybe that's just too tame for you. Maybe you want to have it be an underwater train now. Well, I've got you covered with this. It's insane, guys. We are here in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hello, I am Rexy's Gaming Bro, back from the dead. I know reports of my demise for content were greatly exaggerated, just busy with um, film school and such, as usual. And, you know... Having a life once in a while, you know? I know. How dare I? I should be giving you guys, like, eight videos a week. I know there is any... That's two videos for one day, at least, unless I did them all in one day. But you know what? I think we're doing okay. We're gonna get back into content. And today, we're gonna be talking about the latest update. Well, not update, really. It's just a... A little trick, similar to how when we found out that if you did some little cheats, you could release pterosaurs into the wild. And I've got a few ways to show you how to do it yourselves. And trust me, it's not as hard as some people may think. Because, well, as you can see on your screens above, you can get quite a beautiful exhibit with them just as a highlight to your parks. And just to be clear guys, this is not modded. This park is not modded. I am playing this on a console PS5, I know. You may be thinking, then how do you do it? Well, I, I'll i unlock my inner John Hammond and... Oh, so, first we need to find a plot of land that is available to us, which will be... We'll just do it right here. So, first things first. I must warn you guys that sometimes you will have a little bit of a hissy fit with the monorail itself because sometimes it just is being really annoying. But first things first, what you want to do is you want to place one monorail or such and then make sure that the monorail is straight by the way. If it's curved for some reason it doesn't want to work and what you do then is you place a second monorail right here. Now automatically this monorail piece in between is set as one piece. N now, normally once you build out like a few pieces and such with the terrain, then it's going to go out. So like if I say over here, build a monorail right here, and then I go like this, do 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 like that, and then I place a monorail over here, and then I go like this, then normally what most of you would expect is that the terrain would start rising it up just like that however as you can see over here well it's kind of going through the ground as you can see and I've got stuff over it and that's because the monorail itself once you have it um, normally dealt with doesn't have hitboxes. This is why whenever people have them going through enclosures you see them constantly you know having dinosaurs or stuff walk through them and not really interact with them too much. I mean, if you look in the lagoon, you'll actually see all of the aquatics swimming through it and also because I forgot to put... Excuse me. Since I also forgot to put invisible fences on this one, you'll see dinosaurs um, walking right through. I probably should have put an invisible fence, but I sort of forgot to when I was trying to get my thumbnail for this video. Because, as you can see, well, actually, you might see one of these guys clip through. Oh, yep, there we go. Alara Titan is going through. Ooh, Coelophysis 2 as well. Well, he's just short enough to get through. But, as you can see, like, even here, it's perfectly fine. So what did I do? What was the cheat code that I used? Well, there's no cheat code other than, well, playing the game system. So, what you'll want to do, now that we're back here, is head back to the monorail... And first things first, you'll have to do this on both sides because there is a weird thing that, like, if you just um, try and extend it from one side too much, then it'll say, oh, it's interacting with the other monorail. And I kept having that problem, 
But if you want to keep like this guy in the same area s somewhat, then you can just like move it a little bit. But even then, I'll just show you guys simply. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into the monorail and instead of like deactivate or demolish, you'll want to move the building and first we're going to just move it right there, okay? Now, if you see with the terrain, it is not going up. The monorail is not moving. And that's because it's counted as one piece. If there were more... If I were to delete this piece and then make two different connector pieces for the monorail, then it would start to go up. But if we flatten this out, just like that, okay. Now, if we move this onto the other side, then if you observe, if we get too far... As you can see, there's a obstructed by monorail station two five. So I, what I'll have to do is then I have to delete on both sides the track and replace it. I know you may think, why don't I just delete, keep extending it? Well, because you might still run into the same problem of, you know, it's saying it's obstructed by the monorail. So you'll want to do a little bit more and then hopefully this doesn't fail on me. So we just keep going, and suddenly I feel like it's locked, and I keep going, and then boom. So as you can see there, that is when it separates itself into two tracks instead of one. And I don't want that. I want to keep it just right there. That's where it's safe, because if I keep on editing the terrain here, well then I'm just going to keep it flat. But if I had have kept that lump, then well, that lump would have gotten even larger when I did this. So, what do I want to do next? Well, I want to keep doing this until, like, I get tired and say, okay, it's as long as I need to. And I can go all the way. Like, I tested on this map as well, and I was able to get, um, which one was it? This one, as you can see, it's all the way at, like, the corner here. And it's nearly at the end. I was going to keep going, but then I was like, nah, that's pretty much getting the point. But I could, if I wanted to, I could still extend this guy all the way out here. But you can do pretty much anything. So if I say I wanted this to be like a sauropod enclosure where you're just at eye level with the heads of the sauropods, this would be perfect height for it pretty much. And also it would keep it, if, or if I did smaller dinosaurs, but I wanted them a little bit closer in the view, then I just put a invisible fence and stuff, and this is a pretty decent height. Or if I want the track to be like, you know, same level pretty much, like it's a little lower than I was planning, but if I wanted to, I can go all the way up, like, I can even, like, bury it. So, like, say if you're in the snow, a snowy biome or something, you can pretend that, oh no, an avalanche has blocked part of your train as part of, like, an abandoned, um, map sort of idea. But I just wanted to showcase, like, these, this new little trick that the fans have 
wanted to share with the rest of us. And I want to thank Evolution Square for showing multiple videos for how to do it. And also, I can't remember what fan showed her, but it was on Reddit. But it was amazing. Glad they shared it with the rest of the community, because this is awesome. Just the way you can have the dinosaurs interact and such. And also, even, like, you can put vehicles on here. Like, I saw Evo did a tour track on the monorail, which looked pretty cool, actually. But it it's a nice little addition that just makes the monorails more interesting for the park. I know not many people use them too much anymore, especially when, like, you have different ways to get certain parts of your park connected without using the monorail. But it's a nice way to bring life back into them. Because, to be honest, since the game started and, like, and, like, it's evolved, I'm pretty sure the last time I used a monorail was just before Biosyn's, um, DLC. Which was over a year ago now, actually. Which, god, time does fly, doesn't it? But now with this, I'm probably gonna use it a few more times as well. It may not be, like, the craziest thing to find for leaks, like, you know, how we did with the Pteranodons being able to come out of the regular hatcheries. But, you know what? It's a nice little addition, and it gives the monorail a purpose again. And just, like, I mean, look at this. It's just going through these rocks and like that, and it looks great. That just looks awesome right there. Could I do this before knowing this? No, the monorail would have just looked like an eyesore, really, for most people. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video and such, and I hope this little trick will help you build some nice parks with it. And if you got any ideas on, like, things that I haven't done with the monorail, do let me know if you found any other tricks that you can do with it, whether it's types of enclosures or stuff, or so many. And also, I'm hoping to um, do a little abandoned park um, tips video, and this monorail trick really does help with that actually because the monorail is one of those things that like is pretty interesting when it looks destroyed and I think it'll help but if you guys enjoyed this little tips video I would appreciate the like and if you want to see more tips videos or like ideas for builds or stuff or any of those stuff do um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and until the next tips video or any video for that matter stay safe and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.